All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Unbelievable, you defeated my alter ego. Thanks for the good vibes. <laughs> yeah, the fire is like deadly. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and use, I have one potion left, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Oh, come on, stand still. You're doing well, lad. But can you break through this secret technique of darkness? Oh, God. So now use the arrows now. Them. Shit. <laughs> you scared me with the whole thing. I thought I didn't think the fairy was gonna was gonna bring me back to life. <laughs> <laughs> the Triforce. Welcome, J Fries. Uh, hey! <laughs> Thanks for the cheer. <laughs> I am the essence of the Triforce. You can see I have new lighting. Did you notice what just happened? <laughs> The Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. If an evil heart hearted person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. The stronger the wish, 
the more powerful the Triforce ex expression of that wish. Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Ganon was building up his power here so he could conquer the light world and make his wish completely true. Come completely true. But now you have totally destroyed Ganon. His dark world will vanish. The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. Its golden power is in your hands. Now touch it with a wish in your heart. I wish that Trump will not replace the seat <laughs> on the Supreme Court. <laughs> That's what I'm wishing. <laughs> so yeah, you... you uh, the return of the king, Hyrule Castle. So you tested you you tested something I didn't know was gonna work. So thank you. <laughs> I have new lights uh, as of this stream, and I hooked them up to the uh, follow and and bits and cheering and stuff like that. Look, everyone is home. If I remember correct, these people were actually uh, tattling on me <laughs> earlier. <laughs> the bully makes a friend. Oh, these two guys. Oh, look. <laughs> They're turned, they found their way back. Your uncle recovers. Flippers for sale. <laughs> the witch and assistant. Twin Lumberjacks. Oh my goodness. Flute Boy plays again. Venus, Queen of Fairies. I remember Venus. Okay. This is like credits for the characters. The dwarves were, <laughs> the dwarven swordsmiths. <laughs> well, so actually what we're going to play next is Mario 64. <laughs> so we're going to switch to Mario. But I will be I'll be coming back and and uh and playing and continuing my Zelda quest after Mario. So probably Mario 64 and then Sunshine. We'll play both of those. I have finished Galaxy, so I probably won't play Galaxy. So. The Lost Old Man. The Forest Thief. And the Master Sword sleeps again. Uh, what? Why Why did he go put it back in the woods? You're gonna need it again. 64 hype. <laughs> oh. 
I was wondering when the credits were actually going to roll. Well, this was this so this game was so much better than Zelda 2. <laughs> like I didn't even finish Zelda 2 cuz Zelda 2 I just it was too difficult. It was too repetition. You would die and then you would get put back where you had to go through this whole section again where you just it was almost like too difficult. And it, it crushed my soul, and so I moved on to to um, to this game. Well, actually, I played what was that Monster Train for a little bit, and then I came over to this game, and this was so much better, so much better than Zelda Two, so much better. God. Well, this seemed more like a rival to Final Fantasy. Although, wasn't Final Fantasy on, like Final Fantasy 3, wasn't that on uh, the Super Nintendo? Ooh, the object programmer. I wonder if he used object-oriented programming on the objects. Probably not back then. Back, this was probably all programmed in C, not object-oriented programming. <laughs> so when I was a programmer, uh, and I programmed for the GameCube and the the PS2, uh, they were it was all in C. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember if it was for the SNES. I, I, I remember, so my roommate had a Super Nintendo, and I swear that was the first time I had seen Final Fantasy was on, uh, was on that SNES. How many games have I worked on? I have worked on a lot. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> if you go, there's a link to my personal website, and you can click on games, and it lists all the games I've worked on. So, um, but I stopped being a programmer around 2004. Uh, so yeah. So actually, the PS2 and GameCube was the last generation of consoles that I that I was programming on. So yeah. When the Xbox 360 came out is when I switched to being a manager and stopped being a programmer. Is this showing where how many times I died in each area? Oh, this is embarrassing. Man, I really... That dark palace was tough. I only died nine times in Ganon's Tower. Maybe I just got better as I was going along. Total games played. So I died 89 times. It wasn't triple digits. Whoever was saying it was going to be triple digits, you're wrong. <laughs> well, that was cool. I really, I really enjoyed... Uh, a link to the past. It was really good. So, I have everything queued up to start playing Mario 64, but let's I'm I'm out of Diet Coke. So, we're going to take a break and we will come back with Mario 64, okay? So, don't don't go away. I will be running a few commercials if you if you're not subscribed. Be right back. <laughs> 